Welcome to another rad edition of the Loot Crate. Whoa. Hello, Pokey Dudes and Pokey Dudettes. Welcome to another edition of the Loot Crate. This time it is the Re 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 rewind. Roll rewind. I just had to. So we got our loot to create, and we're gonna start off by opening up this bad boy. It's been pre-opened. Sweet. This is gonna look amazing. I'll show you the inside near the end when we sort of look at this bad boy properly. Alright. Okay. So first of all, we have Oh my lord Black Black tie geeks Own oh, little like little tie. It's like a box. It's got a nice little space invaders pet on the box there and it says They've existed since 2003 in downtown Los Angeles. Angeles, Angeles. We have a tie. Wicked. So we have a nice a tie. I'm not wearing a good shirt for a tie at the moment. But the other tie I have is a nice red and black one, but it's so small. So this is amazing. Um, if I can just get it close enough, it's Space Invaders-ish type tires. It looks amazing. So, um, I'm gonna wear this a lot when I'm going out. This is gonna be my what probably a tire that I'm gonna use a lot often. And plus it's kinda like the um, Tom Scar type tires where it's like black and white, black and white. Which is amazing. Um, I'll show you the shirt at the end. Next up, we have some sunglasses with the exclusive loot crate bit on there. So, um, let's put this on. Sweet. I look, I look good in these. Nice. I've always wanted a pair of 8-bit glasses, and now I've got them. I've also got to take off the protection sticker. There you are. Nice. There we go. Alright, next up in this, we have a, uh... Wow, I'm kind of spinning through this, like, usual, a bit differently. We've only gone three minutes in. Now, oh, just... We have a So Analog R.I.P. which stands for Retro Inspired Products. This was made by Squid Kings, it, Squid Kids Inc. And it's, it's an So Analog Nintendo Nintendo Games Console. It's like the old boxes and stuff. Nope, that's like an old game cartridge. So if we flip this open, flippity doo, and pour it out. We have a uh, games cartridge that says on the back, caution, do not show up, show out of order, do not smuggle, ha, do not cancel, Squid Kids Inc, for geeks, by geeks, and uh, we got Fire Hunt, which I'm guessing is like a duck hunt sort of replica of Fire Hunt. Um, I have no idea, but it looks like it also has a face. So if we, uh, oh, there we go. There we are. Oh, if you notice, in the end of the box, it's like a cartridge protector, which is awesome! So if we, like, get all this out and, like, build this as fast as we can, move the box out of the way for the moment. Uh, do -do -do -do. Before I even open this, I accidentally hit the stop button, so, well, great start. So let's pop on those shoes and stuff. Give them the zapper. 
Oh, on the zapper it says, so, and look, Nintendo, Tendo, bro, and I'm just gonna, whoa, get in there. <clears throat> Oh god, my oh, shouting, and it's not good. Which means someone's misbehaving downstairs. Yeah, great. There you go, force those hands in properly. Give him his good old zapper. And we have a dapper Nintendo NES cartridge. Chapper. <laughs> uh, there you go. That's me trying to be more British than what I am. So uh, let's move on to the next one, which is a comic book nut strip. 64 pages of never before seen action and adventure. What came out in the 90s? The N64. What else came out in the 90s? I was born then. So we're just going to open this sucker up. And have a look inside. A notebook when expired strikes. Cartoon tips and tear out balloon templates. For sight gags, character studios and heroics. So it's like a nice little pocket notebook. And it's got the back. It's the back. It says POW on the back. And it's actually a... Draw your own comic. Oh god. So there's the pop out stuff. And the back. Bit says pow whackened a bunch of text bubbles. Which is awesome. And uh, literally all the pages are panelled. If you can see that. And the bit of the front says this notebook belongs to. And all that. Which is awesome. I've always wanted to try it drawing out a note. No! Oh. Been a bit clumsy this morning. It's not good. So I've always wanted to do that. And now, now we'll show the b -b 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 rewind button. <laughs> there we go. That's another button to the collection since June. Which is awesome. Next up, we have a stop that this was shown in emails to some people, um, to a lot of people. I haven't shown this off myself, but uh, here's a Star Wars comic, the f first variation edition. It's got a little bit of a Marvel logo, so it was done by Marvel this time. As um, Disney has brought Star LucasArts and Marvel, I'm sure Disney could do better than Frozen with these guys, because everyone knows that Frozen sucks. So we have this, which I'm going to display. I plan it. I'm getting a new room soon, so I might get this in there. I'm going to get this with my final copy of Nintendo Magazine that was released in UK. And uh, store it up somewhere on an, in a nice shelf. And then we have. Alright, um, next up, because uh, we have. What's in the box now is this. Which is thingy. And. It shows all the stuff that's gone in there. Stuff. So we have. I'll show you the shirt. Which is. What is it? Oh my lord. It is. N oh god, it is. It's Voltron. It's freaking Voltron. Sweet! Voltron shut. Nice. I. I'm gonna wear that to college. Oh, it smells so nice as well. I'm not gonna put it on yet. But that is an awesome shirt. There we are. That is a wicked shirt. I'm gonna store that somewhere safe. So now, time to show what the box is about. It is actually 
and turn it, flip it inside out. It's an NES, it's an NES. so um, what we're gonna, what uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of undo it and uh, put it back another way. Which will be really nice because some people like to repurpose their boxes, use them for storage and stuff. I wonder if this is the actual size of an NES. Then maybe me and Silver could pop it on an NES controller. Cart controller, actually. We could do. It'd be wicked. Now I'm saying wicked too much. There we are, we we'll just flip out and then we can just go flop. Flip that around again and Shabuya. There is a if it'll go in. Get in that box. Let's no fit in there. Like you were told to when you were rake, when you were created. There we are. Oh yeah, it's in. We have an NES. What? 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 That is sweet. I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff in there. Probably some Wii games, maybe some GameCube. My Wii U games might fit in there, huh? But wait. That's just an NES. Play NES. We have a li while I was schematically in through the book, I noticed this. It's an NES controller. What the fuck? So we're gonna open this baby up and uh, hope for the best. Cause uh, kind of a butt pain to get out. Oh, I've just noticed there's little Lego bits on the back. Lego is amazing. Oh dear. Now while getting this, um, some people actually had a problem with um, their emails. Well, I did for one. Well, they got an email with a tracking code error. Which, I understand, people do make mistakes, I make mistakes all the time, I mean, I just dropped my nin little Nintendo buddy, which I was going to display next to the Mega Man helmet and the Turtles, well, Michelangelo and the, uh, dude from Firefly, while I pop this out, I am not the greatest at popping stuff out like this, in fact, I'm terrible at it. But as long as it comes out and I can still use it, it is awesome. So I'm just gonna pop this out a bit more. There we go. That's nice. The popping out stuff just reminds me of when I was a kid going to McDonald's all the time and uh, just trying to pop out everything on the box because you can like do some little figures and stuff. So um. This is a nice little um, Nintendo bit rewind through gaming, which was an interview, which is awesome. And then there's a uh... so in the Mega Crate, there was a HP Stream Lap 13 laptop, Horizon Blue. I have a HP Pavilion laptop, so a later volume. Looks like it does Windows 10. Okay. And then there is a Toy Mania Diecast Ko Ko Kogo Godkin Voltron 30th Anniversary Light Up Collector's Set 
at, with base right there. Um, a Lego Star Wars Death Star, which is awesome. A Canon EO uh, ca uh, camera, lens and stuff. And then we have a Retron's gaming system. Oh, I want oh, that looks good. I'll have to try and get one of those. It's a retro video gaming system. That would be useful, actually. I'll have to grab myself one of those. Or actually get the proper consoles myself. See what happens. And then, Star What the fuck? That complete Sega on Blu ray. Ah, uh, I want the complete Saga. I need the complete Saga again. I had it, and then it's like. Uh... Okay, so there are, have been exclusive Nintendo things. So I got. Fire Hunt. There is also Doctor Who, The Legend of the Future, 1.21 Gigawatts, Corbin's Alleyway, Corbin's Alleyway in Alien Tech, as well as Fire Hunt, and they all go, they're all on an NES system. Sweet! And there's the Star Wars book, and Voltron shirt, and coming up with a notebook, and the tie. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Oh, let me just pop that all together, I did say. Oh, God. This is the longest loot crate video I've done, I think. Probably. I don't know. Wait. Yeah. That just folds back. There's no end bottom to it. <laughs> this one, yeah, quite have to stick together to work. Maybe put like a little bottom on it as well. But in the end, it should make a NES controller. I doubt that's the real size. I swear they're smaller. But yeah, I think some people might like actually put these on their NES, on their NES controllers and stuff, and just play their old ga games with these. But amazing boxes in that console. So uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the com, if you yeah, comment here. It's not in the comment here. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to Loot Crate to get this free month um not free this d um that's about 20 pounds 20 dollars ish box of the wonderful loot where it's um i have no special code but you know go over there subscribe to something and maybe you'll get some awesome sunglasses like these so if you can't deal with it, I suggest you go subscribe to my channel, leave a like and a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and I'll see you on the other side. Ciao.